awesome. Welcome everyone to the late night show. You know what? You might be watching this tonight. We're not by no means. First of all, Dominic, this is not a podcast. Yeah, I heard that Jay once or twice before that it's not a podcast. It's a live streaming event. Yes. And and sometimes not even live. But it's it's we're not saying that. Why would you ruin that for the people that are gonna be watching this later? Oh, this this is gonna be live. (laughs) That it's during the day. We say late night. They do that. Jimmy Fallon does that too. They record during the day. He's a punk. It's got nothing up on us. No, nothing at all. No, no um, one does the late night restaurant show at all. Yeah. 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 And we have we have a lot of fun on our late night show. We do. We have and we have a great guest today. Mm-hmm. We have a great guest, and we also have a disclaimer that has to go up here just so we make sure that you don't listen to us and believe what we say because we're just a couple of schmucks doing well, some of the stuff is true like i i think I, I yeah they're not official statements or views of our of our sponsors or our guests right like our views are our own and our own personal we're pretty smart though yeah maybe yeah, we're our guests are awesome, we'll work sure. on that yeah yeah no okay. but this is a good, yeah. it's a good disclaimer it's not People a disclaimer of our sponsors no and our new no, pop line. Yeah. our views are our own personal views yeah and if yeah. you like our new pop line coming out this spring yeah do, Pull up on that. <laughs> are we going to show it? Are we, are we going to have our own commercial showing our pop? Yeah, we have our, we're going to get a we'll pop. We'll have the, the, the safe check in the late night restaurant show truck Ooh. pulling up and passing the Coke truck. Look at these pop cans <laughs> we have coming out, right? Now, I do think, and I'm not official yet, this might be the first podcast pop line ever. The first good one for sure. Well, yeah, but I don't think anyone else has ever done that before. No. Not even close. No. no. So there. So yeah, you'll be able to. Yeah, all, all those uh, non podcast pop can lines are mm-hmm. not real pop. What does sell it on Amazon? I, I think we'd do well on it. I think we, we would do. Look at the graphics. I, I, I met a person yesterday who bought wine and beer because she liked the labels, not because. I do that. I do yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go far. I do that too. And I'm drinking my special tea today again. Wow. Um, anyways, we have a great guest. Uh, she's a rock star. She's a consultant. She's everything that I love talking to these kind of people and amazing people like this within the industry. You know what? They are there to help the industry. And uh, I'm excited. But first, Dominic, what are you doing April 8th to the 10th coming up? Um me and, and a few people from our office will be at the RC show in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So we'll be at the Entercare Center, Jay, the Restaurants Canada uh, show. It's the event of the year. Um, if you if you come to our booth, you're going to get a cool lunch bag, and I should be showing it because it's it's like it's the hit of the show. Um, we might have pop. We might have pop. We're going to have. Uh, her new pop. Um, Bill Marler from uh, Marler Clark and Poison is going to be there. The yeah, movie when you say Poison, you got to tell. It sounds like the rock band. <laughs> <laughs> well, you met him. Um, the movie Poison from Netflix. The movie Poison that's on Netflix right now. That's crazy, I think that's amazing. what we have to say. From the Netflix movie Poison. Yes. No, Bill no, Marler is going to be there. He's going to be talking. Yeah, I think say, on the, on the you're 8th. Gonna say, you're going to say that Google thing or something like that. No. <laughs> It's the Netflix. You go to Netflix, you can watch Bill's show called Poison. That's how you do it. And it's about, you know, food safety and people getting sick. But he's, 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 we, we've spot, we're bringing him to that show to speak at the Restaurants Canada show. Yeah. There's the, the bar in here where I'm doing a commercial for the Restaurants Canada show. But there's the, the bar and beverage um, sort of uh, expo is right behind where our booth is. And, and that's always fun if you, if you get a chance to come down there live. Um, if you get her pop fun. by then, Dominic, if you get her pop, you're going to have to slide some over to the beverage space. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, just throw it over. Just put it in by accident. Just throw some no, over there. Put it by accident. They're going to want it. They're going to be clamoring for it. <laughs> Fruity duty. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's play the commercial for the restaurants. Got to show them we're going to buy our guest in because we don't want to waste her time today. Yeah. And it's going to be a great show. And this is live, folks. So please don't think that we recorded this earlier today. This is live right now. So please send us questions or comments and enjoy the show. But here's a little message from our friends over at restaurants. 
Gerne. Ja. Intentionally do the boom at the end. Yes, that's that's okay. intentional. Is that it's, intentional. It's not it's not an accident, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> we we didn't add it in. I don't think we we added that bump in it, did we? No, we didn't add the bump. Oh, Anyways, well, we're talk creative, about right? We've got Canada's restaurant guy and a creative genius on on our show. It's Jay. It's you. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, no. And then we have another. This, we have an awesome guest Starting here. It. It's all about the guest, though. Of course. I'm going to introduce Anyways, her. You, go ahead. Because I, so just so you know, Christine, I usually screw up people's names. So Dominic, please go ahead. Uh, th thanks for, Christine, <laughs> thanks for adding your name to the bottom there. But Jay, Christine Smith from CS Consulting uh, 101. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. This is exciting. Have yeah, you ever had an intro fun. like that before? Or not? Uh, man, you know, I, I tried to think of something witty to say just now, and I got nothing. Yeah, that you was got funny. nothing? So, no, you never have. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we win again, Jay. You, you hit it out of the park. You got a great guest. Um, Christine, tell us where you're joining us from. I am chiming in from Asheville, North Carolina. Cool. Okay. Welcome. Um, Nashville, North Carolina. Is that in the north part of North Carolina or in the south part? Or are you close to the ocean? No, I'm not close to the ocean. Okay. I'm in the mountains. Oh, oh, part, right? oh. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I love that area. Um, so, Dominic, are you there? What are you doing? I am. I'm, I'm good looking work. up I'm Quit looking working. up Asheville. I'm looking up Asheville, North Carolina, because now I want to see where it is. Um, Christine, tell us a little bit about CS Consulting. What's the CS stand for? <clears throat> First, <laughs> if it's not a given, it's my name. Okay, <laughs> Christine Smith. Uh, consulting. I mean, because I'm a consultant, and then 101 because it's like get down to the basics, you know, like business oh, 101. That's that's how I came up with the name. That's cool. And it's me. I'm the best. It's not like I have this conglomerate behind me. I'm, it's me. That's awesome. Yes. Well, a lot of times. See, and here I, I screwed up my, I, I typed in Asheville North Consulting versus Asheville, North Carolina. <laughs> oh, man. And I hope, uh, I hope I pop up, you know. That I was going to say that she pops up anyways. It's no, okay. yeah, I, I got I got that as well, but I wanted to see where, where it was located. Um, so, yeah. Christine, oh, and let's time. let's talk about. I, I think one of the things that was drawn to me was the fact that you talk really around this building relationships and building this industry and helping restaurateurs really connect with their guests and building this hospitality world that we live in. Can you share some of that vision you have? And I found that really cool about when I connected with you and found out a little bit about you. But is there, let's, let's talk a little bit around that and what you feel is important when we get into this whole new industry that we kind of live in now. Can I, are you open to me showing you in an experiment? Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is, okay, first of all, Christine, we've worked out this week on the show. I think Tuesday we had a workout lady, right? Well, we have, we didn't work out. We had a little we didn't bit of work out, out. Before, but we didn't work out. But yes, we're open to an experiment. We're open. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun this week, anyways. Wait, first, but the first question: Are we going to get hurt? 
Because yeah. if it's a, we're yeah. going to get hurt, then no. The safety and guy. It won't be a mental mind blown, but it's, yeah. it's, a good, it's a good exercise, okay? Okay, go cool. for it. Let's do it. Um, I like to give experiments and showcase because, again, it's all about connecting. Yeah. And it's, it's much more fun when we do it this way rather than telling you how I do it. Okay? Okay. So if you were to, let's say hypothetically, you were to open the show and you said, Christine, how are you today? Would you like me to be honest with you or would you like me to sit, be nice and just be say I'm fine? Well, I would say honest, but for okay. the sake of the show, yeah. for the sake of the show well, we I think... want, I'm fine. Thanks for asking, right? Right. That's <laughs> generic, generically, like that's what we are, that's what we do, right? And there's yeah. no need to get into logistics of how we're really feeling, right? There's a time mm -hmm. and place for that and all the things. And, and in business, I find that to be very important to bring an awareness in a sense to the table and how we approach business. Love it. So if I wanted to be honest with you, I would say I'm emotional, excited, and nervous. Wow. Okay. Right? Okay, so in, in relation to how I do that with clients and how does that transpire into helping a business, it goes into, well, I can, I can break it down into operations. I can break it down into sales, your training, your hiring, all the things. But realistically, for, like when I, when I go to a business and I look at their business and I can see, mm -hmm. I can almost see the areas of improvement. I first ask, how is that person showing up in their business personally? Mm -hmm. why, why did you make the choice that you made? Were you under stress? Mm. Were you under pressure? Mm -hmm. Were you nervous? Did you not understand what you were getting yourself into? That's the level of work that I do. Cool. And I believe I that, that in order to get them. Sorry. Is if that's the level, like, how, how long does it take you to get them to be honest? Because nobody um, wants to. Oh, you really? Eh? I well, do. I think people want to be though. Like right, Christine. Like I think most people want to be. It's just the fact that we tend to probably defer people from doing giving us those answers. Like yeah. we don't want to hear Dominic's having a crappy day. And this really, in internally, I really, you know, we care about him. But do we really want to hear that? Because now I got a commitment of more time to listen to how bad his day is and everything else. Right. You're right. And there's a time and place. There's a time and place. There's a trust factor. Mm -hmm. Being professional. There's times to be professional and carry out through your workday. And then there's still that time to incorporate those things. And those are mm -hmm. skills taught over time. It's very easy. And it's, it's, we like to, like, like let's think of terms like characteristics like passive aggressiveness. Mm -hmm. or dismissive, non-empathetic, right? And so if I were to, when you ask that question of how long does it take me to get them to that point for them to open up, I, I do that uh, by a, a few tricks I do. Um, okay. First, uh, first I got to understand that I gotta, I gotta ask some questions. Are you okay with me asking you personal questions? And if they say no, I gotta respect that. Mm -hmm. And then we, and then I'll switch gears somehow. <laughs> okay. Right. But it's, um, it's getting them to, to realize. I want, I want the operator to think differently on, on how they're doing their business. And to really bring in their own self-awareness into how they're showing up in their business and not only treating themselves in their business, but their team mm -hmm. and their customers and all the things. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You guys are thinking. Well, yeah, well, you got me I'm, thinking. I'm still stuck on 
<laughs> it's a dumb like, like alone, people man. hire you for a reason, right? That they want you. Well, for maybe I'm going to go back one step here. Who hires you? And who hires they, me? And yeah, what they, it... what's what's their <clears throat> what do you see as the 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 biggest reason the like the most common reason that people come to you and say hey uh christine we need your help it's yeah. a mix it is <laughs> okay <laughs> next because, well, look again like i can i can have like let's say for example i'm in a networking event and i'm yep. i hear people expressing their um problems in their business and then they go share their problem when they open their mouth and start sharing their problem, I can actually see through the BS and their story they're telling mm. by understanding human behavior. Mm. Okay. 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 Good. So, Tell us more about this. This is fun. I love this. So thing. if I, I'll give you an example. If I were to hear, okay, who's going to hire me? And I overhear a conversation or someone's in conversation with me and saying, Christine, I, you know, I'm hiring people and I'm, and I can't keep them or my, I'm going to have to shut my business down because I, I can't afford it to do it anymore. I actually don't believe anything that they told me. Like at first I'm like, okay, I hear you. I hear you. And you believe that's the problem. And I'm going to guess that there's something else going on to help solve the problem. It don't matter what problem they come at me with. I'm going to get them to a level to get them thinking differently and show them other opportunities that they may not see themselves because they're in their business day to day. Like I can't blame them for that. Yeah. How many people do you think just does that because they're, they're just not in the right mindset or they're in the right mindset of business in a sense. Like you said, I, I hear that too. Oh, I can't do that. But yeah, you can, right? Like we have a, we have two words this week we learned. You can use the word can't and you can't, yeah, you can't use the word try. Right, Dominic? Yeah. And uh, it's on there. And I, 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 I find a lot of people say that and like, to your point, Christine, like it's hard to believe that, right. It's, I can't do this or I can't do social media or I can't have a podcast. Like, yeah, you can. So how much is that? Do you find you, do you derail them doing that or making them just think differently? No, I, I let them voice what they believe is true. And then I ask them questions. I don't, you know, you, you just showed me the words on your sticker note that you have. I actually don't believe that telling someone that they should do something. Okay. I don't. <laughs> That's well, I, cool I, too. I, I kind of agree. I, and I think yeah. to, to our other guests that's talked about that, she wasn't, she wasn't saying that they had to do anything. No, I did that. What she was getting <laughs> to is, I think what you're getting to is, I want you to just stop for a second and try and think a little differently or – at least not think this and then let them, you, you ultimately want them to come to their own conclusion, right? Because and, until they believe it, does, you could tell them everything under the sun, but it wouldn't matter until they, they start believing that, that change is possible or that there's another way or whatever, wherever you're trying to go or whatever you're trying to open them up to. If they're not open to it, it, it doesn't matter what the words are. It doesn't matter how much you motivate them. It's that's why I was asking like, who, who is it and what brings them to, to that? I need your help. Like what's the, is it because there's a breaking point is it because they want to try new things. Is it because, um, you know, you're advertising or you're, you're networking with the right people that are open to bringing somebody in. Cause yeah. Jay says that all the time. We, every business probably needs a coach or a mentor of some kind or somebody to that's honest enough to bounce stuff off of versus just taking it on all themselves because that often doesn't work. Yes. So generally speaking, um, they're in a state of confusion, um, frustration, mm -hmm. uh, feeling like they've tried everything under the sun, generally. Mm -hmm. And I, I ultimately don't want anybody to get to that stage in their life, not myself included, but it, it's up to us to see what we value. Do we love ourselves enough? That's what I like to say. Do we love ourselves enough to invest and help with our, ourselves? Because no matter what kind of business we have, we're still our own person showing up in our business. 
Mm-hmm. And, and you're right. It is a mindset thing. Like this is the level of work I do with people. It's not, it's not surface level shenanigans, mm. you know, but you gotta be, you gotta be at least somewhat aware of self to know that what I'm doing is not working and I want better for my life. So Christine, when you can, when you work with the customers, how long do you see, how long does it take usually? And maybe you're in the process of this or you, it's maybe all over too, but do you see people improving in stuff like this with these simple, like, is at the end of the day, they're not, it's not hard. It's more or less getting them to get on that and follow that. Do you see those changes happening more and more? Like are people more, Hey, this is, this is what I needed because I believe everyone needs one of you. <laughs> everyone needs a coach and a consultant in their business. I do. I do see a change and I can actually see it after one phone call. After now, one. Yes, but it's, but it's not. And, and in terms of like um, actual data results, I, I'll be on transparent here. I'm not quite sure what that looks like yet um, because I've been, I've been doing this in smaller doses. And so, mm-hmm. Yes, things are changing with them personally, but um, to actually see the data-driven results in terms of an ROI, in terms of a monetary value such as money, that, mm-hmm. that I believe happens over time because not only, when I say after one phone call, it has happened before. It has happened after one phone call, just like yourself, Jay. You're like, oh, wow, I'm thinking different, right? So it's already happening after one phone call. Yeah. Now, a matter of, if it's a matter of when they get off that phone call, did they really value that enough? Mm-hmm. They want to keep going? That's up to them. And I'm not going to chase them. I'm not going to chase them. I'll be there to support you. I'll be here to be, you know, your reminder of, hey, how did that feel for you? How are you feeling? All the things. But it's up to them. You know? And so when I say after one phone call, yes, it happens after one phone call. But then what mm. needs to happen is a lot of it's 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 almost rewiring the brain because we're so myself included. I didn't get here overnight. I had to practice this stuff myself over years and experience and all the things. You know, it, it takes time. And I'm seeing the result of my own labor now with my own business, you know, like yes, yeah. some of it takes time. And so when I hear even objections like what's my ROI, I love that one. I say, Well, what do you value? That's good. Yeah. You're, you're not yeah. going to see monetary va- gain in terms of dollars right away. There's this work go, can go into any department of a hospitality business. It goes with not only themselves, but into their uh, departments operationally as well. Like when you know how many times you guys see an ad on LinkedIn or whatever I'm hiring and you go read it and you're like, well, that, what the, where did that come? You know, it just doesn't make mm-hmm. sense. And it's because something in the back end of what that person's doing, creating that ad, they're not right. Something's not right. Does that make sense? Yep. It does. And I, I think more and more, it just, I think it just concretes my comments, Dominic, is that everyone needs a coach and support in this industry. Cause I, th- I just, uh, well, first of all, people in the industry, I find a lot of them just really, never got this support before in their life, let alone in their business. Right. Yeah. And I think working more through this, like Christine, to your point, you're probably feeling a lot more um, better yourself in a sense of with your new company and fairly new company um, doing this. You, you probably see a reflection back on yourself as well as improving as you help improve others. Yes. I can actually remember. Yes. Thank you for mentioning that. That is very true. And I can actually remember thinking back, reflecting on, on past experiences. And I can actually remember being a hothead 20 something year old, just out of college, bartending at a cheeseburger in paradise, you know, doing the damn thing and, and realizing, wow, those managers, I didn't need to take that personally. That Mm -hmm. manager was doing the best they could with what they had. I don't blame them. You know what I mean? We're just human. Yeah. We're human. This this can work for any business, but God knows us in the hospitality business. It's it's 
it's so fast paced and I don't blame you mm. for getting in your head and, and blaming someone and this and that. No, slow down. <laughs> what do you find is those, what are, what are some of those things that you find restaurants are challenged with? Is it, is it fine that just doing that time, like you said, labor earlier. And I'm like, I don't believe there's a labor problem. I think there's a problem telling people that there's an amazing industry to work in. And yeah. people just, I think that's the way we've marketed it today after COVID. And uh, I don't think we have a hiring problem. No. That's my point of view. No, <laughs> no. And, 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 you know, this level, I joke sometimes because I, I feel like I'm a therapist and I'm like, I, I'm a therapist mm-hmm. for your hospitality business, you know? And so it's, it's, I love it. It's a communication problem. <laughs> yeah. I think it is. I agree with you. And I think the more and more that we get people talking about it and finding out that we don't have a problem, we have a problem telling people how awesome it is. And we tell, we, we come up with TV shows. We come up with all these different comments about how tough it is, but you don't make any money at it. And you work late hours. You possibly get a divorce, all these different things. We don't romanticize the industry anymore. And if anything, we try to romanticize it based on how tough it is. Right. Like, and that's kind of not really helping in a way, no. but I, I, I don't, I, and then, you know, we, there's all these other reasoning behind that statement. I just don't believe it. I, I believe that there's, that there's people out there. We just, we just do not have track to them into the industry. And right? and that's, that's true. That's, that's so true. Um, you know, I, even I can remember even, years back i wasn't this confident talking about this kind of stuff i i would hold it inside and not want to share it myself like Mm -hmm. who am i going to trust this leader that my manager my leader that's supposed to be this leader who's not leading the way i envision a leader to lead and then i feel like there's not a safe space to say it and so i i hinder my own skills my own voice and over time guess what that does to the individual like we become less valuable of a person because of someone else's interaction with us. That we didn't know any better than what to do with it at the time. That's all it is. That's all it is. So the question there is, how did you get past that? How did you personally get past that to, to you know, to embark on this journey? Now you are here where you're, you're helping people. What was it's the turning a- point? <laughs> Thank you for asking that. It took a lot of self-development for my um, it took a lot of work on myself to do this. Um, I used to beat myself up. Um, I used to be a very quiet person because I thought that my voice didn't matter. And, you know, a lot of people talk about trauma, whatever, talk, yeah. but, then, but it matters, right? History matters. Just like we were talking yeah. right in the beginning of the show, history matters. It's, it's how we got to where we are today. And so, I had to do a lot of soul searching myself. I had to reevaluate my own life and having very strong mentors in my life. Game changer, game changer. Like 10 months ago, I have no lie. I just got out of a coaching course uh, that was all about self-development. 10 months ago, I wouldn't be on this show, on the show. Oh, cool. Good for you. Yeah. 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 So, um, but, 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 but I got to throw this in there before you comment. Sorry, I've been interrupting you lately, Dominic. Sorry. Um, I had to say this, Christine, but you will become a very well, now if you're not now, I'm not saying that you are now, but I find that people that go through those things have such a life experience that you become so valuable to us in this industry, right? Because you lived it. You, you've been through that and, and, and I, it's so different than I, I've been in the industry now for a long, long time. The million years, it feels like that I was working. The best time that I learned something is when I drove a restaurant right into the ground for three years. That's when I went through my like, holy cow, that I didn't know what it was like. I got a really taste of it. So I think you're going to just rock star it out more and more because you've been through that. Yeah. And that's true. And, and, and we all, you know, we, individually- there's a lot of consultants aren't, I'll tell you that right now. There's a lot of consultants out there who have not lived and breathed the hard times to help support. So just FYI. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and I've, I've had that experience by 
when I was building my business and figuring out what to call myself, you know, and I actually stopped calling myself a consultant for that reason. I had found in people, professionals that I was interacting with, they found that term to be very vague. Mm. And not only vague, I, I realized that they didn't trust. And I'm going to imagine that they didn't trust because they had a bad experience. Mm -hmm. okay? And so I, I was like, you know what? I don't know if I want to call myself a consultant anymore. Uh, I'm a relationship builder. That is really what I do. And it's more fun to say. I love that though. Mm -hmm. Don't, I, mean, I love that though. Yeah. We need more of that. Dominic? Hey, Dominic? You yes. okay? No, I'm okay. Was that a question <laughs> to me? Well, what do I think about it? Yeah. Um, I, I think from, from, from where I was going with my question, um, when, when you, you said, okay, 10 months ago, you, not, you might not have been doing it. So what was that? That might've been your, Hey, I'm okay to do this. And I'm going to, because you self-developed in, in a lot of industries, A, we, we, we often don't invest in ourselves, period, right? We just don't. We're, we're stuck, like you said, kind of with the blinders on, just working away because it's, it's a grind and there's, there, there's no time for anything. But really, you know, we have to step back and say we have to do this because we're that three-year period of driving it into the ground might be two years if we don't, right? And we, mm -hmm. we're not going to recover if, if we don't. So, um. I think I'm stuck on, I think it's really hard in this industry, but you, Jay, you say it all the time, but for people to say, I'm going to, I'm investing in me because that's going to benefit not only me, it's going to invest everybody around me. It's going mm -hmm. to improve everybody around me. I, or, or I'm going to come to some radical decisions that maybe, you know, maybe I shouldn't be in this. Maybe this just isn't for me as well. That might, that might be the conclusion of it, but um in investing in ourselves or investing in a coach or investing in, yeah, you say consulting. I've heard that. that that's in our official corporate name, Canadian Food Safety Consulting Group Limited, because our accountant put it on our corporate incorporation. Not, but everybody around me would they would say, take that out of your name. You don't want that in your name. It's like because because of the trust. Now, um, once they get to know you, then that that might that that you know that a distrust might come out of the picture because, okay, well, no, you're not this big mega, mega corp. That's, you know, that's just looking to, to, to consult away for five years. <laughs> right. Yes. And I, within that coaching program, those, all those questions are valid and I can understand that perspective because it, I come across it often. And what I've learned also within the coaching programs I've been in over time is the whole sales, right? Growing a business, how you sell it, sell all the things. And I used to, I used to get caught up in the, we call them the objection objectives, right? The objections. Well, I don't mean that. I don't have time for that. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I no longer view that as a pressure on me. Good. That's not my problem. Mm -hmm. No. Um, but what I do, I'm not, I approach it again, building relationships, first and foremost. You're either going to be my client or not. And, and what I'm going to do when you give me those objections, I'm going to say, I hear you. I understand. I might ask you another question. Yeah. Why do you yeah. believe um, it's, it's funny how the relationship in, in what you're doing not even from the sales perspective, but maybe at the sales perspective, but it, it, it applies in every industry, in every job, be it you being a, a street cleaner, uh, a salesperson, uh, a call center agent. It, it doesn't matter. Like if, if once you, I put it all back to communication and communication skills, which where I think we're all just lacking. We're just not mm -hmm. good at it. And it takes a long, long time to, to get it. So if 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 you can build a relationship, and I think I, I don't know this of you because I don't know you, but I would think that it, it doesn't matter. Like you're there because you want to help. So whether they end up doing work with you or not, you're 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 there because you cared 
you know, you want to, you want to be able to help them. So you're, you're going to, you're going to, you know, you're going to say after the first call that yes, they, they need you, or maybe they don't, you don't need me. I can't help you. Right. Yes. That and, and you, yes. And you know what, and you know what also happens, Dominic? If we, if we decide, but if both parties decide that, you know, we're not the right fit, guess what ends up usually happening? They call you six months later and say, come and work. Well, for they, they go, Christine, <laughs> oh, they, they go, don't give me some compliment of like an affirmation of that was a really good eye opener. Right. Yeah. And it, it, it'd be so small, but I know I already did my job. I did my <laughs> job. Whether they paid me and I was a long time client or not. I passed on that energy and got them feeling better about themselves. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's the right reason. Mm -hmm. I, 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 when we hear this, we're just, we're thrilled. Like, Jay, yeah. Jay I don't know how you pick them, man, but you do. You're, you're like, every, you know, and, and like, a lot, a lot of people that have been on our show have that same attitude, and they're, <clears throat> they're doing good in whatever they're doing because the vast majority of whether they're your clients or not, or they're just people that, that you don't end up doing business, they appreciate that, right? Mm -hmm. See, if it was me that I had all those objections, when because I'm hard headed six months later, when I realized, um, holy shit, she was right on all this stuff. I would call, I personally, I would, I'm the type of person who would call back and say, Hey, sorry, I was an ass. Sorry. I kicked you out or whatever. And say, can you come back? Like, mm -hmm. and, and, and usually it works out. It works out well because, um, people appreciate in my case, well, at least you're honest to, to, to realize you're a jerk. Right. So, um, and then the relationship ends up being good because we were honest with each other. That's right. So it's, um, I think it's cool. Yeah. And, and I think, the, I think the more that you're bringing that honesty in for us to reflect back, Christina, to yeah. the industry, we need that. And, and, and we got to get off of those, you know, when you ask a restaurant <laughs> how things are, oh, business is great. And to your point, like you said earlier, and then you kind of dig into it and it's not great. And we need to get past that. We really I like do. to I like to ask the questions people aren't talking about. The hard ones, usually, right? <laughs> Let's talk about the elephant in the room that we're not talking about. Right yeah, now. exactly. That's going to be hard, though. That, that not everyone can do that, Christine. Not everyone can do. I that. love it. It's I love it because I'm so <laughs> interested. I'm so interested about people. It's I swear I could have been a psychologist or something, but. <laughs> I do it. I do it for the hospitality industry because I literally live and breathe it. I know it like the back of my hand. I yeah. love to travel. I love to eat. I, I do all the fun things in hospitality and tourism. And I do it for us. You, all of us on this call right now, I do what I do. So when we travel, we have mm -hmm. a better experience. And I can't cover the masses. I'm only one person. But I can do it one person at a time. Until you get your own yeah. podcast. <laughs> Just, it's gonna get podcast. Uh, you know, back to ten months ago, you wouldn't do it, but today you're contemplating it. <laughs> I told uh, I told Jay before you got on the, the show is the show's already named. It's called a hospitable, not despicable. Wow, <laughs> that's a good one. Go and trademark that. Start start it today. Get it yeah, out there. Start it. See, Christine, I told you too. Let's just do make it. A one, oh. one, make a whole bunch of them and just oh, yeah. That way. Oh. And you'll, there, you'll, you'll establish your presence in that cool name. <laughs> yeah, it is. Do it. Yeah, do I was it. on the couch with my boyfriend, and he goes, he just blurs it out. And I'm like, yeah. Do it. Nice. Yeah, don't don't make it like what mine was for the longest time. Till. No, I, I, I create one bad podcast title, and he will not shush it about it. It was a great podcast. I liked it for the longest time. I just couldn't say it because Dean really <laughs> – <laughs> There was 47 shows in it. But besides that, it was all good. It was hard. <laughs> Don't like now we call our show not a podcast. Well, it's a part of the tight part of the, the shtick. But yes. um no, it, it is Christine, you should do that. And um I just want to thank you again for taking the time today and and to mm -hmm. be on our show, share your experience, share what you're doing. I love how you are looking at things differently. It's you, it is different. Like, so bear with me. You're going to have the people are going, Oh boy, you're different. And I love that. 
And I think that's so cool that we need more people like that. Cause there's enough people out there doing the same thing over and over again. And uh, we need more people being disruptors and changing the way we look at it when we help businesses and help our industry out. We need more people like you. So you need a podcast, first of all, but you need to continue to do what you're doing. So thank you so much for taking the time um, to be in on our show today. And uh, now you can watch it later tonight too. Yeah. Now that we're going to play it. Um, what's the website? End on. You mentioned that, that this was aired earlier. You do that at the end, then they watch and they go, oh, I thought that was live. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so, Dominic, your question, how do you find me? My website needs help, if anyone knows anybody. I do feel but people also. It's, it's, CS, uh, it's C. Smith Philosophy, so my philosophy on the world. Uh, csmithphilosophy.com, but um, more so on LinkedIn. You can find me on LinkedIn. I'm very active there, and my inbox is always open. Christine Smith, cool. Thanks so much, Christine. Thanks for joining us. Yes, Um, thanks, Christine. And all the best. Um, Yeah, we'll visit when we when 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 me and Dominic do our world tour. We'll definitely come down. Oh yeah, I forgot Dominic. We're doing a world tour too. So okay, gotta mention that too. We'll the pop line and tell him about the pop line he's got coming out. Uh, He's got to do a world tour. But uh, (laughs) you got to see if you like battleships. The North Carolina is just not far from where Christine is, so it's cool. Awesome. It was Christine. All the best. Thank you again for Thanks, Christine. Thanks so Thank much. You much. Thank you so much. Take care. There you go, Dominic. Another amazing guest that we have on our show. Yeah, it's awesome, Jay. Um, what a week! I, I like it's been a busy week, dude. I think it's. I think it's cool. It's brilliant. To, to her point, if anybody's ever seen Billions, have you seen the show Billions? Yeah. Well, just wait a second. But no, no, our we're listeners not, we're are not that old. What's that? Like. You talking built like the old show from the eighties? No, Richard Pryor. No, no, no. That's no. That's no. No, the HBO sh- the the oh. Showtime show called Billions. With, Not that uh, I know that there was a show in the eighties with Richard Pryor. <laughs> you shouldn't have named the actor's name. Um, with uh, Paul Giamatti and uh, I don't know what the other guy's name was, but it's about it's about these traders. Anyway, okay. but it doesn't matter what the industry is. They have a coach. Yes, but in their in their business and that at that business they have an on-site psychologist to talk about with their staff what's going on and to what she said yeah you say it's this but I know yeah. it's something else yeah. right that's that's holding it's you back powerful. from from whatever from you know in their case it was trading more and doing better trades it's like what's going on right so you, to to what you say everybody needs a coach and everybody needs a podcast i think we 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 have to step back and look be open to to exploring at least that there's some help out there and go and look at um to what you said at the end something that's different from how you've normally done it because that that doesn't always work obviously right no and i I think the biggest thing that i i took today as well and i Excuse me. My tea's getting me. I said this on a call a meeting this morning is that you it's hard to go where you want to go unless until you find out where you're at. Mm. And a lot of the times that we don't really give us honest opinion, like Christine was saying, we don't really tell ourselves or we don't aren't open and honest of where we stand. Right. Yeah. We always have this perception where we're at or how things are. Until we have a realization of where you're at, what's going on. And that might come in many ways. It's hard to go anywhere. It's hard mm-hmm. to continue to grow, right? You have to, cause that becomes your starting point in my mind. When you have those moments of realizing where you're at or where, where your business is, where your restaurant's going or as a chef, where you are as a chef, when you know, and you've had that here, okay, I know where I am now. Boom. Now I can move forward. But a lot of the time people are floating around and in la la land and it doesn't necessarily understand where they have to go or they want to go somewhere, but they don't know where they're at today. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to start at something. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I just find that we have to have those moments of realization of where we're at. It's no different than in business until you realize where your numbers are at. 
And how bad are they are or how good they are, you can't move forward to improve them until you realize where you're at. So and there's, pretty smart, we've had people, to, to that point, we've had people on our show that can help you have that in real time right now. Exactly. So that you, you know. Well, that's the thing I like, I like I with Christine. It they, revolves around the same thing, right? That yeah. we had the leasing guy on that talked about, hey, if you wanted to know something around your lease or what, you know, what the yeah. penalties might be because this opportunity came up, that's at your fingertips. The margin guys, margin edge. Hey, if, you, yeah. if you're on that program, those numbers are at you in real time. If you've hired a coach or you've hired a person like Christine, and we're, I'm not, I'm not saying business has got all this extra money to go throw at stuff, but the the reality is, is a lot of these things are going to help you concentrate and improve your business. And mm -hmm. unless you stop and look at them to say, this is what the benefit of this is going to be. It's going to save me time mm -hmm. on inventory, or it's going to make me, it's going to make me better with my staff and I'm going to reduce my turnover. Like whatever those things are, um, if, if you embrace them and they do a good job and you do a good job of doing it, mm -hmm. it's going to be to the benefit of your business. It will. It will. It will. And I guarantee it. working with people like Christine was on our call today is that it, it will increase your sales. I know it will. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it. I, I, I've lived it. And in today, and that was like a bazillion years ago, but living today and working with restaurants and, and restaurateurs and coaches, you know, doing these things increases your business's bottom line yeah it does and even if you, you then the reality of all of that is if you get one five thousand dollar idea or one ten thousand dollar idea you've often paid for whatever you've hired yeah. the person for the app for whatever it is the person we had on last night um mm -hmm. look at how much money like you know for 2500 bucks a year whatever that number is yeah. for three, you're you're gonna save that in the first month exactly and it's like when people and then and then that, recoup the money not only exactly. save but when you're going to make they, more when they don't go out and search it i've got a friend he's at the pizza expo he'll go to the the national restaurant association show he'll come to the rc show he's always looking for ideas yeah and he he knows right it, the, there might be seventy thousand out there that aren't good but he's still searching for the one that is and he he hits them once in a while right and they benefit they benefit him, his outlook, and his business. So he's a firm believer in what we talk about. That's why, you know, that's why I get along with him so well. But um, I, I would just encourage people just to, you might think it's all fluff. Sit down for five minutes and think. Go check it I out. Gotta do something just different. try it. I always yeah, say just try it too. Pilot, use the P word, pilot it and try it, and you'll be amazed. But anyways, Dominic, there you go. That was a big week, great week of guests. Yeah, cool. Yeah, add a hundred on it, and thanks, thanks for all your hard work. You do a good job, and you know what? That's those pop cans are pretty nice, man. Can't wait till you drink the tutti frutti I'm getting you. Yeah, uh, that's the one I want, and then I want I'm gonna get the non-alcoholic gin in some of them because I'll be able to say, "Hey, here's some gin." But tutti frutti, from, tutti from frutti him. gin. There you go, right? They called tutti oh. frutti gin. Shh. Don't tell fuck. Tutti frutti gin. Can yeah. you say that? You better check. We can use that. That's really good. We're cool. using it. What's, what do you mean? We gotta check. We're doing it. We gotta, can you use TD Fruity? Is that a trademark? Yeah. Who's, who's going to say that? Yeah. The guy is 100 years old that came up with that scene. He's Mr. gone. Fruity? <laughs> exactly. Mr. Mr. Fruity. Fruity. <laughs> Fruity Fruity Vodka. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, all the best. Thanks to everyone else that joined us. And uh, thanks on again. again Monday next week. Got another big week. Actually, we're in person doing next week, doing a couple shows in your office. In Calgary, yeah. Yeah. With my mic, so we're going to work yeah, down. I got to order some stuff and get our studio going here, Jack. Better get it cleaned up, too, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, all, all, all the best. Cheerio. Bye, Thanks. See you later. Look at those cans, man. Oh. Those are awesome cans. Look at those cans.